All right, all right. I know what you're thinking. Ah, JCR, you keep playing copper stuff. When are you gonna return to the regular id one? Well, um, I don't know. I guess at some point I will. SM199 is just getting completed. Uh, and I did a map with Newhouse. That was a lot of fun. <clears throat> For now, I'm gonna play Bad Dark Cistern. This is yet another pairing for copper. And this one is by Negi. And actually, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. This one's from 2012. And, uh, be regarded. It's a combination of uh, DM5, 6, and underwater DM4. So, let's get to it. This is actually, though highly regarded, it's a map I've never played before. We have a message. Go spring clean the old cistern. Uh, and we shall. <laughs> Couple messages. Use the main water pump to drain it. Chamber flooded. Sluice gate locked. Interesting. I suppose down there is the way. What a con convenient, convenient jammed door for us. What? First of all, off with that tie. Oh, I guess I was wearing a tie. I'm not much for ties in the real world. for some good shit when the first secret's a grenade launcher. I think it's a coincidence that this map is similar to Antediluvian in its water, aqueduct, sewer, cistern theme. Oh, check that! Looking at the brushwork toilet paper. suspicious at all. Shit. brushwork. And I feel that the uh, use of space is very cozy. It's not too big, but it's also just spacious enough. Let's try that part again, shall we? sound is. Mm. Alright. 
a chamber has unlocked. I see. So this button probably opens this once I drain the area. Oops. Ow. That sucks. You know what that means? We gotta save the game. Play out. <laughs> Say make, but really I mean let. Surely I'll stumble across another secret that will fix me right up. Neggy want me to do this. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Discord, Lunarin said that zombies being gibbable is not new to this patch, but I guess they're, they're not gibbable by direct hits. actually recognize this part here. This is DM6. a lot with the grenade launcher today. Search the lower parts of the cistern. Do we have to? Oh boy.
I'm not doing a good job of finding secrets. I really dig Neki's choice of textures. You got a very nice... Oh. You have a very nice contrast between the brown, the green, and a little bit of blue in there. You know, a lot of people jokingly say that Quake... Quake is like all brown and stuff. And a map like this doesn't make the case that it isn't. Alright, cool. But, you know, it's like... Not every map is like this. But even if it is brown... texture that is characteristic of Quake. Hey, it's not a secret, but it's definitely an easter egg. It said Necros was here. Now, so was I. Well, shit. Oh shit, I'm drowning. I'm not doing too good right now. Gotta get out of here. save because this might end poorly. Nice details on the ceiling here. Definitely looking at the ceiling too much. Whoa, I got killed by a rotfish. That's like the first time in the history of Quake. Oh, this is what he was referring to by underwater DM4. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool that, um, it's pretty cool to play this with copper because the fish are actually a threat. Point made, I guess. That should have killed my ass. I'll take it. So yeah, as you guys just witnessed, the rotfish and copper are a threat. Not like in the uh, original game. Oh shit! I'll creep up on you too. But this is really creative to have this, like the main DM4 atrium, be 
underwater. Oh, dude. How embarrassing. Alright, no, no more dying, I promise. That appears to be a glitch. But it's a glitch uh, in my favor, so we'll take it. Now I'm genuinely worried about these fish. Gotta check those corners. Jeez. I'd say that's a welcome change. And definitely not uh, a negative. They certainly behave more piranha-like. It's totally awesome. Bastard. Got me out of nowhere. Press this button. Oh, good. Okay, I think I opened something else, right? This whole area is brilliant. Just need to find my way around it better. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. There's no secret back there. Don't drown. Ah. Close, close. Uh, I picked up something. You can now. You can now. You can restart the pump. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah. That would have been a pain in the <clears throat> that would have been a pain in the ass in vanilla. For sure. Yep. The fact that uh, I'm able to dodge the four balls underwater. That's unique to this mod. Nice, okay. 
Very nice. We're now in business. I like quick maps that have moving parts to them like that. Gives a sense of credibility. I also really like that the nail gun is like uh the nail gun is just a worthy long range weapon in this mod. But uh, as far as the map goes, I really enjoyed this layout. And I just need to find my way back to that exit. Ah, there it is. Probably this button, right? Uh-oh. We're gonna axe his ass. Yeah! Another plumbing job well done. Man, I managed to find one measly secret this entire time. How disappointing. But the map itself was really good. And uh, I feel like it flowed together very well. It was challenging, but not too challenging. And uh, nice set pieces. I would say this is definitely a worthy pairing for copper. Or rather, copper is a worthy pairing for this map. So yeah, until next time.